Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you important topic of optical fiber communication is optical fiber. So, first we know I have the introduction of optical fiber. Optical fiber is the science of transmitting data, voice, video, image by passing of light through a thin transparent fiber. In telecommunication, optical fiber technology has virtually replaced copper wire in long distance telephone lines and it is used to link computers within local area network and other computer network. It having high bandwidth, it provides immunity to electromagnetic interference. That is why optical fiber is preferred over copper wire cable. Fiber optics is also the basic of fibroscope used in examine internal part of the body that is called endoscopy or inspecting the interiors of manufacturer structural products. Now the history of optical fiber. When glass fiber of core and plating design were introduced in early 1950s, the presence of impurities restricted their employment to the short length sufficient for endoscopy. In 1966, electrical engineer Charles Cow and George Hockham, working in England, suggested their fiber for telecommunication and within two decades, silica glass fiber were being produced with sufficient purity. That infrared light signal could travel through them for 100 km, it means 60 miles or more, without having to be boosted up by repeaters. In 2009, Cow was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for this work. There are basically two types of fiber, the plastic fiber and glass fiber. So, plastic fiber is made up of PMMA, that is polymethylmate acrylate, polyester or polycarbonate. Plastic fiber are cheaper to produce and more flexible than glass fiber. But there is greater attenuation of light, restrict their use in communication, use in short distance link with, within buildings or automobiles. Now, optical fiber. Optical fiber is basically a dielectric waveguide that operates in optical frequency. Why it is called dielectric waveguide? Because optical fiber is a hollow pipe made up of glass or plastic. and it is hollow, so air inside the pipe and air is work like a dielectric, that is why it is called dielectric waveguide. Here I write, optical fiber is a glass or plastic pipe. It is very thin just like in human hair. The light guide in the waveguide by follow the principle of total internal reflection. This is the diagram of optical fiber through which light follow the principle of total internal reflection and guide through the waveguide. This green pipe is called core. The blue pipe is called cladding. Core and cladding are hollow. So air inside the core and cladding that is called dielectric waveguide. When light enter into the fiber, it follow total internal reflection at the side wall of the waveguide. It means the core cladding interface and follow a zigzag path along the length of the fiber. Now the cross-sectional view of optical fiber. Optical fiber basically consists of three reasons. The center reason is called core. The middle reason is called cladding. And the outermost reason is called buffer coating. So this is core, cladding and jacket your buffer coating. The diameter of the core in general is 50 micrometer. If the core is 50 micrometer, the cladding is 125 micrometer in diameter and the coating is 250 micrometer. The function of the core is to propagate the light. The function of the cladding is to keep the light within the core and protect the core. The function of buffer coating is to protect both core and cladding from outer environment or other interference. So here I write optical fiber having three reasons, core, cladding and protective sheet. Core, the center region of the fiber is called core, which is core surrounded by a co-centric cladding with slightly lower refractive index. It means that the core is made up of 
the material having higher refractive index as compared to the cladding material. The function of the core is to carry the light. Cladding. The middle region of the fiber is called cladding. The refractive index of cladding is lower than the refractive index of core. The function of the cladding is to keep the light within the core. Now protective sheath. The outermost region is called protective sheath. Protective sheath provides strength to the core and cladding and protect the core and cladding both from abrasion, it means roughness, contamination and moisture. The fiber is that is sometimes made up of plastic. Glass fiber are more transparent as compared to plastic fiber, but plastic fiber is more flexible, more durable than glass fiber. Plastic fiber is not used in communication. It due to their low transparency, it is restricted in communication. But glass fiber having more transparent, having low losses, that's why it is used in communication. For glass, here we use silica. For plastic, here we use PMMA, polycarbonate materials. The core diameter is 50 micrometer. The cladding diameter is 125 micrometer, that is 0.125 mm. The diameter of protective sheath is 150 micrometer. Optical fiber work on the principle of total internal reflection in which light ray beam into the fiber can propagate within the fiber over a long distance without attenuation from the side wall of the fiber. The degree of attenuation over distance varies according to the wavelength of light and to the composition of the fiber material. Now the property of optical fiber. Optical fiber used for communication must have the following property. First, fiber used in communication system having high tensile strength. The fiber used in communication having highly transparent. If fiber is having highly transparent, the attenuation losses get low and reflect more light. Stability over high temperature. The fiber used in communication have highly stable over high temperature. Easy to handle. Fiber provide immunity to water vapor penetration. The fiber used for communication is highly flexible because if any force apply across the optical fiber cable, the fiber, if fiber is flexible, then, then fiber can, then fiber cannot break easily. Fiber having low losses, if fiber having low losses, then uh, it propagates light for long distance. Easy to install, economical. These are the properties of the optical fiber that fiber use in optical fiber communication so guys thank you for watching this video for more videos please like subscribe and share my channel